Hey guys, it's the Redstone Wizard here again. Bring you in another uh, Let's Play in uh, my world. I've done a little bit work, a little work. I slow. I've been getting some chorus fruit. I've slowly started uh, clearing this out, getting it prepped for uh, the uh, uh, for the storage system, and did a little work on that. But I've come to realize that, well, the zombie spawner isn't great for XP. So we need to get some more XP. I did get some more blaze rods. I've been trying to get some wither skeleton skulls. Came to the realization I need to, well, have, well, a farm for that. So. I went into creative, went looking to see if I can find a location that actually has a nice setup for a uh, uh, for a wither skeleton farm. Now, what I found was one that was actually really good. Downfall is its location is not where I would want it. It's nowhere near where we would. Uh, yeah, have a reasonable collection system for it, but that's part of this game. We got to make things work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this, some of this. Need to get some paper because we are going to go and uh, get the uh, least to the location of where I found the night uh, uh, where I found it but we're gonna go in the overworld and we need well obsidian so let me get some obsidian and if I have to go mining for it I'll go mining for it but I'll bring you guys back in as soon as I get everything ready for you okay be back in a moment. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got the uh, nether portal built. I actually went in just to link up the nether portal. I remember the uh, quick layout of this place. Yeah, we've got a blaze spawner there. we got a blaze spawner up there, which means if we stand right on top of that block, right there, we can activate both of them. Now, I did explore this a bit because I was trying to remember exactly the layout and see if there was anything actually really good other than the double blaze spawner and I remembered yep there is this thing has a uh, double uh, actually has a triple crossroads so that right there will Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't catch us. No skull. Yeah, it has a triple crossroads that if you set up right, you can actually has a quadruple crossroads. If you set it up right, you can actually probably maximize the amount of wither skeletons you can get. I'm probably just going to do a simple little wither skeleton farm to spawn them and drag them towards me and then just kill them but yeah it has a quadruple in uh, set up so I'm going to go and get uh, these uh, blaze spawners deactivated and I'm going to do it dangerously because wait yeah yeah I have to because I forgot to get some uh, anti uh, blaze precautions so here we go okay I'll be right back with you guys <laughs> hey guys yeah, I just finished uh, deactivating it, and 
pretty sure I got it completely deactivated. Yeah, small little patch back here. Yep, I just quickly just barricaded it all. Next step is to actually clear out this all this nether brick and some of this nether rack because we're going to create just a simple starter blaze farm. And by simple, I mean we're just going to put a 9x9 nine nine area on a hole for them to wander into. And we're going to slowly expand it by increasing the blocks in the middle between the two of them, giving them uh, using their pathfinding AI against them. But we need to locate right where that spawner is. We'll place a piece of netherrack and then cover that up. Okay. So now we've got the spawner location of one. We can create a system, uh, create a way to hold them in here and push them towards the center of this area right around here. And I'll probably go into a creative world and figure that part out. But one, two, three, one. Two, three, one, two. Okay, yeah. So yeah, this is this is their uh, spawn limit. So this part's going to get walled in over here. And this corner is going to be the spot where they fall out of, get pushed, and then probably just send them up. Uh, probably just send them up through lava or something. I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. Like I said, I gotta do a. Uh, might even just collect them and put them in mine carts and then just have them transported up and dropped off. Or might even just do the snow crash method. Because his was pretty efficient too. But I'd have to do a little research and get all that done. But the uh, but once I uh, figure out which uh, one I'm going to use, I'll let you know if it's a snow crash and if it is. If it works on console, of course I'm going to be doing testing. But if it works on console, I'll let you guys know, including with his updated version, because you can't always just use the uh, first one. You have to always go with the updated version. So let me uh, get that other one barricaded, and I'll be back with you in a creative world just so that we can uh, test that out. Hey guys, it's the red, I'm back. I've uh, exited the nether. Bad thing happened. I died. I had to run and gra try to grab all my stuff. And didn't turn out too well. But upside is, is it this one? No, nope. it has to be this one then. Yep. Got us a weather skull. So that just means we're going to be able to summon the uh, wither to be able to get more uh, to get a beacon, which is going to make a uh, growing up uh, growing stuff here uh, making stuff here even easier. <laughs> yeah, you can set these on top of uh, another chorus flower. Uh, chorus, uh, set a chorus flower on a chorus plant, which will then actually increase the growth of that spot as long as it's not brown. As long as it's not uh, a terminus, a terminated uh, one. But yeah, I got pretty much that. Uh, Spawner, uh, the uh, who's uh, the uh, blaze spawner, for the most part built. I just don't have everything ready for it, so I'm going to have to one gather some resources in the overworld before I head back there and uh, fix it up. I'm going to do a massive uh, no spawn area, except for in certain spots where I want to. Wither skeletons to spawn. 
and those are going to be a massive also no spawn areas around those areas too so yeah I'm just going to continue just working on whatever I can and I'm gonna let these uh, these grow see haha <laughs> we got another one growing yeah we don't need that one we'll take that one and stick it in our uh, chest over here and we are going to while we're waiting, well, while I'm gathering resources, I'll be clearing this area out to create the uh, spawner. No, not the spawner, the storage. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, I'll probably go down all the way to the bottom of that water. But this whole area is going to get uh, is going to be used for the storage, and we'll cover it up because hiding redstone. There's no other reason. <laughs> That's the only, because some redstone doesn't look that great. But yeah, I'll actually end up also getting uh, me a, uh, another sword. Give me diamond pants back. Because uh, I have no idea what happened to them. I couldn't find them in the nether where I died. So I was unable to get them back. But I got everything else back other than my sword and I got a power one and breaking two bow but yeah I'll continue going and uh, see uh, bring you guys back in when I got a little more progress available to show you guys so I'll be back in a moment hey guys I'm back and just giving you guys a very quick update Yep, I've got a good chunk of the storage system completely built. Well, the call and the uh, shulker box storage. I've got the uh, reset line for when it's done. I just need to get a bunch of hoppers in. Let's see here. Uh, I've got 16 hoppers. I can probably put those in right. Uh, yeah, let's get these in right now. We'll just fill this in. Because, like I said, I'm using the system that I developed for storage, which I actually like quite well. This is a uh, four bit. So I've got four levers I can select so but it stores 144 different items in it so that right there is crucial I'm probably just gonna have to go back down my name to get some more redstone because I used a good chunk of it to create a stack of observers and I've already used half of them just in this alone I've got uh, let's see here quite a bit more to go and I got 11 pieces yep I gotta get more pistons I gotta get everything I'm using uh, regular doors instead of the iron doors I recommended it actually really doesn't matter if it's iron or tr no, regular but iron it uh, will prevent zombies from breaking and that's the sole purpose behind those let's pick up these blocks because we don't like to do uh, don't like to waste and yeah so next step is to craft up some uh, droppers 16 of them to be exact and there we go then that line can get put in but yeah I'm gonna have to go get some more uh, redstone so I'm gonna go mining for a bit and once I get uh, more of uh, this actually built, probably get the try to get the whole entire selector uh, the uh, call system and storage set up. I'll bring you guys back in. All right, see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back and 
I've actually finished building the storage and the uh, call portion of the system. I got to get a, the binary encoder here and the uh, display system right here. And over on this part, I'm actually going to set up a, a variable item sorter just so that I'm able to load the shulker boxes up. And at the moment, I only got, uh, I got all the way up to this one right here, full. I only got two in this one. And let's just make sure that none of them are in the chest here because I'm just working on slowly adding them in. So as soon as I, because uh, that's, but I'm running really low on redstone, so I need to go mining again. Uh, I wish I knew where there was a witch farm. I might just have to go into creative and see if I can find a uh, witch's hut. See if I could get a uh, witch farm built. But yeah, that is because I could use more glowstone and also more redstone so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to uh, pop over into a creative world an exact copy of this one in fact I'm actually just gonna copy it over <laughs> and I'm going to see if I can find myself a witch's hut fairly close by if not I might have to just make another tunnel <clears throat> with the nether portal after I make the hut into a witch farm but yeah that's uh, crucial right there because we need the redstone far more than we need anything else right now in fact other than iron we need redstone oh yeah okay yeah I gotta go collect some saplings real fast and as soon as I locate that witch's hut that I want to find, I'll probably uh, bring you guys back in and uh, we'll figure out design. This one I might not do my own. Or I, do, I, I might do my own. I just, nah, we'll do an Ilmingo design. I'll just verify that it works on console and with that right there oh yeah with that right there i'm gonna call the uh, call it a night here and i'll be back with you guys as soon as i get a chance all right hey guys i'm back for free uh, just real fast i went into the creative world copy of it and I found me a witch hut now I did do a little testing I'm going to use the uh, Ilmingo shifting floor design that he has and I'm going to get it where well they're going to die from suffocation I built a quick nether tunnel because we're a good distance away from the base so yeah, it's a lot faster to go through this nether tunnel than it is to do anything else. Maybe not fly, but hey, when you set up the nether tunnel and you set it up for just one route, it makes it so much easier to locate. So I'm going to gather up resources. I'm going to get that. Well, I'm going to get the wither, uh, the witch farm built. But you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building. <laughs>